Hey, I want to show you how to edit a video using Loom. First, you're going to go to loom.com and you're going to sign up for an account if you don't have one. And then you're going to make a new video and you're going to record a video here. Once your video is recorded, it's going to download into your library of videos in Loom. You can see mine here. I have all the videos that I recorded. You can even organize them into folders. Okay, so now that we have the video that we want to use, we're going to open it up. If I just click on this. Okay, so here's the one that I want to edit. Click on edit, and then you're going to go to split and trim. Just make this a little smaller. Okay, so you have all of this. You can kind of see where I'm not talking and where I am, so I sort of know like where I'm gonna be editing it. But you just slide it over. What I usually do is I welcome. I just wanna give you a quick start to Canva and tell you a few of my favorite um, tools that I'm using in Canva every day in my own business. Um, and just some of the things that I use, some of the things that I ignore. Uh, I just wanna help you make the most out of Canva when you sit down. Um, to create things for your business. I want you to be able to streamline it as much as you possibly can. All right, so what we're... Okay, so I'm watching the video of when I have pauses and what I want to edit out. Okay, so I want to edit out this part. So I pushed pause so that I can do that. And then I'm just going to hit split at whatever number it's at. And then I can slide this to where... I want to start listening again. So here is the okay, and I had a little pause at the beginning, so I'm just going to like slide it over a little bit more. Main homepage for Canva. Once you have a bunch of designs, okay, and then I'll watch again until I want to take another design to cut. One template that I've already so I've edited out all the little pieces that I want to save, and you can see each one of the ones I'm saving are in these little bubbles here. And now I'm going to hit save. Okay, so it's getting exported back to the Loom account with everything chopped up the way I wanted it to be. So now that this video is all edited in Loom, I can download it and I upload mine to YouTube every week. So I would need to download this and it's still preparing that download. Once it's prepared, I can download that. I can up upload it to YouTube. Um, maybe you're trying to share a link um, through Vimeo. Um, you can download the video and then go to Vimeo and upload it. And then you can share the Vimeo link in an email. Um, you can also share the YouTube video. Wherever you're saving this video, you can send them a link. Um, what I'm doing all the time when I'm emailing people um, that I'm working with is I'm just sending them the direct Loom video as well, and I'll show you how to find that link. So the link is just up here. You're going to copy that link, and then you're going to go over to your email and just you can type in watch this video, and you can highlight that, um, put a link in there. Uh, let me show you an example of that. You're just going to copy the link here, and you're going to go over to an email, and you're going to compose the email, and just any way you usually send an email, and you're going to say, like watch this video or answer your questions or whatever it is. And you're going to highlight that. You're going to slide this up so you can see. Um, grab a link, put that link right here and hit OK. Um, and then you can send that video out like that. So Loom is a really powerful tool. I'm using it all of the time. It's saving me a ton of time, like having setting up meetings with people. It's also a great way if I don't get my... Uh, content just perfect to like edit out a few things that I want to edit out. Uh, it makes it a really great way to showcase your work with your clients, to share ideas with other people. Um, so give it a try and let me know what you think. All right, we'll see you next time.